Greetings and welcome back to our Pokemon Gaia playthrough here. Last time we did uh, a cave exploration, talked to everyone in town, and a bug competition. Where we got second place, I want to say, with a Scyther. Which, I'll be honest, I was really expecting to actually win with that, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, after that, I did a couple uh, more ghost competitions off-screen real quick. And caught uh, quite a bit of uh, more... Pokemon here. So we have a. No, there was the. There's a Ryan. There was Achilles we got from the cave. Then we also got a Tekken the Scyther. A C Day is the Heracross. Hercules the Pinsir. If you guys know uh, the reference to that, good on you. A Ninkata. Cross the Ninkata. And Monarch the Larvesta. Which, I'm going to be honest, we are going after a uh, bug gym. Having a fire type would be pretty good and to be honest static is really cool but I'm kind of interested in having uh trying out a, a Larvesta because I've never used a Volcarona before we do have to you know I yeah we'll throw you you know what we gotta throw you in the box for a Pokemon that we actually use on our team so that's no uh Let's go for box six. Here is our team, and we're gonna rename it so just so we remember. Team. Uh, ba -ba -ba. There we go. Oh wait, no, go back, so once we catch more Pokemon, at the very least, they'll go over to, uh, here. Unfortunately, there was, uh, quite a bit of Pokemon that we did catch that <laughs> weren't useful. We caught a lot of Scythers, mostly because I was really looking for, uh, the Technician, because that's obviously the best if we use a Scyther. And we caught two, uh, other Larvestas, but the one we got is the best one for... The ability, well, not the ability, I'd say, more of the uh, nature. Alright, with that out of the way, though, continue, nope, we go out. I should actually have moved D.Va back into the team, but it's fine. So, who do we have that's got the, uh, I think Madagascar's got the experience here, yep, alright. We'll give, uh. You the experience share monarch. And I'll probably do a little bit of grinding off screen real quick. We do have a scissorite. That's actually what happened if you won with like a, with a scyther or a heracross or a pincer. You get uh, the mega stones for them. So we have those at the very least. But I believe we are going to be doing the gym next because that's what we're supposed to be doing i believe we did uh, have to do the competition against the gym leader so actually let's take a look at a uh, uh, monarch the, yeah the the thing ends with uh when we catch something and i don't really care if we win i'm just using this for a grinding because, you know, fire type. Unfortunately, yeah, you just have ember. Really? Alright. So I'm going to do some grinding off screen real quick. And then we'll continue on. Oh, so uh, I moved over to uh, go, you know, grind on some uh, Durant's pause. And I forgot to show you guys a, uh, our Monarch's uh, stats and everything. So let's take a quick look at that. I did just teach uh, Monarch Flame Charge. Because their attack is a lot better than their special attack. And Ember was not cutting it. I'm not going to lie. It was doing like next to nothing. So, burns the foe on contact. Always good. But, like, those stats are pretty nice. And plus it increases our attack. Our special defense does go down. And our speed is not the best. But, you know, other than that, it's actually a really good uh, all-arounder, right? Alright, so I did a couple of... Uh, Levels of grinding there for Monarch. So let's take a quick look at her. The bug fire. So these are our new stats there. We actually went up quite a bit. 
Not gonna lie, I like that big ol' attack stat. Speed could be a bit better, but that's our, you know, lowest growth rate, I suppose, so... It is what it is. Anyway, we're gonna actually, uh, take the experience share now off of, uh, Monarch. And give, which we found... Charcoal! Boost fire moves. Always pretty good. And then... Who do we want? I suppose, you know what? To get Mammal Swine, I, I kind of want Mammal Swine relatively soonish. No, I actually know Madagascar. Yeah, let's give you the experience share because you're almost to an Empoleon. And I'm wondering if I should. You know what? Let's go take a look at the, uh, the gym and see what levels they are so we know what to do. Oh, also, we gotta do some buying here because I had to use a bunch of potions and all that. Uh, potions. So, I want nine potions. Thank you. And we can't afford a revive, which would be nice. Oh, actually, no. I need to buy some antidotes because that seems to be something that's always happening for us right now. Uh, seven antidotes. There we go. We'll be making more money after we uh, beat... Uh, his name was, um, uh, Vernon, yeah. He won Harma Joltik. Well, luckily, well, actually, unluckily, I should have taken my Joltik then. Nah, <laughs> it's all good, alright. Vernon was busy over at Bug Catching Contest. I heard he came first place. Anyway, to challenge him, you'll need to activate each combi tail. Once all the combis are smiling, the honeycomb will clear. Simple, right? All right. So we need to make these guys smile, huh? So what? We gotta beat you? All right, bug catcher James. All right. So I'm assuming if your 31s are around the early 30s, I'm assuming Vernon's gonna have at least mid 30s and then maybe like a 38, maybe a 40. Luckily. We have the best Pokemon for uh, this. Ooh, Brine. What does Brine do again? It's down to under half. This will hit with double the power. That's actually... Ooh. You know what? Let's get rid of Growl. We don't use that. And Bubble Bean just has the more PP. You guys can keep using Wormadam. Ooh, didn't even kill you full on that one, eh? Fine then. Ember. No, we're not going to change Pokemon. Oh. Alright. I think Monarch evolves in, like, the 40s? Is what I want to say. Okay, so we do have to beat them and then step on them. Pause. Alright, well. Anorith, huh? That's a rock bug. I don't think fire is going to really do anything. So, leech life. Or immediately die. Alright, fair enough. We'll do surf. And then surf again. Brine. Oh, alright, metal claw. Wow. Alright, actually do something. Alright, Madagascar. There. Now let's leave and heal up. Because I want Larvesta to have all of the levels for this, basically. Because I think Volcarona is actually a really good Pokemon, if I recall. Like I said, I've never used one. But from just cursory glancing and everything I've heard, Volcarona seems to be a pretty good Pokemon. Plus, like I said, Fire, probably really helpful at the moment. So we got to beat two people. All right. Are you ready to fight? Ooh, Durant. Alright, Flame Charge. God damn, we are slow. I can't remember. Is Volcarona fast? Madagascar Rudal 34. Nice. You'll never beat Vernon. And... I don't think you need a... Ooh, Picnicker. 
Ooh, fortress. Flame charge. Oh, uh, well. Fuck. Well, screw you. Explosion. That would have gotten Monarch a level. So now I'm curious. I think after we get Larvesta out of this, then we'll focus on... I guess it all depends on the next town to gym, on who we kind of focus on. But I'm thinking either... Everest, Titania, or Damascus. But I'm not entirely sure which one we want to go for. Nope. Stop running. There we go. Smile. Oh, the, there's a lot more combies. All right, fine, whatever. Hey, bug types are my specialty. I won't lose. Ace Trainer Kago. Oh, you have a Yanma? Fine then. Ooh, flame charge. Flame on. Flamio. All that jazz. Whoa, whoa, what? Ooh, you got Mega. Ooh, protected itself? Fine. Fuck. <clears throat> I misjudged. I really gotta remember that Monarch is not fast. Alright, Bubble Beam. That would have gotten a lot of levels. Alright, time to go back and heal. But yeah, what was it an avatar that Aang, always, Aang would say? I mean, he never always said it, but I remember. Flamio! That was it. Flamio, hot man! So. Let's introduce Vernon to the fire, right? Everything changed once the Fire Nation attacked. Last one. Ooh, a scyther. God damn. Alright, well, to be fair, that was a... A... Not a... Wind, flying type. Doey. I'm sorry, I'm just out of it, I guess. Madagascar grew to level 35. Nice. Well, you won. There we go. So, Madagascar, I think, evolves at level 36. Or is it level 38 for the... Uh, Sinnoh starters. I'll be honest, once they changed it from like, oh, they evolved at 14 and then 18 and then 16 and... I just remember when the starters were, they evolved at 16 and then 32. Right, it was 32, right? <laughs> I could be wrong. I could, could be 36 as well. 16 and 36, that might have been it as well. It's been so long. You guys have to correct me on that one. Anyway, hey, Vernon. Why, hey there. Say, you're the newcomer that came third. Oh, I came in third. God, that is a blow to my ego. In the bug catching contest. It was mighty fun. Com uh, fun. 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 I was saying fine for some reason. It was, my it was mighty fun competing against you. I find talented Pokemon hunters tend to be equally great battlers. Why don't we put that theory to the test? I don't know why I was giving him a southern accent, but... Ooh. Fine then. Madagascar, come on out. Because surf, because you're a rock! Ryan. Send in scissor, yes. Monarch. Flame charge. Gotta love the fire, st bug steel, fire weakness. Really good until you find uh, fires. Masquerade. Masquerade's bug f flying, I want to say. And I don't really want Monarch to die. Oh. Uh, you know what? Everest, come on out. No. Uh, ice Shard. Oh, your water, I think. Yeah, that would have been bad either way. Beedrill, yeah. Monarch, come on out. Oh, <laughs> nice, Flamio. Six, six, six. It looks like my theory was right. Take this, please. Honeycomb badge. That fight was fun. We got money, all the money. 
Well, this was the easiest gym we've done so far, I think. Oh, please don't leave yet. I have a special surprise for you. That right there is my favorite move ever. You turn. It lets your Pokemon get out of battle in the nick of time. It also deals a hefty amount of damage, too. In which case, thank you, Vernon. I'm going to immediately teach uh, U turn to U turn. Wait, what? No. Wrong button. U turn. There we go. We don't have cut yet, but we can always teach cut to a uh, monarch if we need to. And I'm trying to. Skyton can learn U turn? That could be useful, I suppose. But I guess we can figure that out. One second, something just happened. My headset just died on me. All right, got that working again. I don't know what happened with the headset there, but. But we're learning U-turn. A s nice, strong bug move deals damage, switches us out. Always good when needed. Unfortunately, I wish we had a faster Pokemon for him, but eh. Nice going, champ. Not many trainers managed to take Vernon down, so good on you. And if I talk to you, you don't say anything special, right? Uh, just saying you had fun. Alright, cool. Now that we have the badge. Raid! Looks like I beat you this time. I got Vernon's badge before he closed his gym to enter the bug catching contest. Anyway, looks like they're not letting people in to Telmark Swamp. Something about noxious gases. Lucky for you, I had the foresight to buy these. Here's yours. We got a gas mask. Nice. Thank you, sir. With these gas masks, we'll be able to get through. It's been a while since we've had a battle, hasn't it? Maybe when we get to Telmark City, we can battle again. I look forward to it. Later, Raid. Alright. And this was the blue shard. I did take a look to see if he had any good moves that we could potentially use. And yeah, no, it was just like Dark Pulse and... Dragon Pulse and stuff like that. Useful, but not on any of our Pokemon at the moment. So, now we have a gas mask. We can... No. Head to Telmark Swamp, eh? Oh, wait. Hey. At least we can actually go in. You won't stop me? Alright, we have the gas mask. We can go in. What's up here? Hey, old man. Have you seen a Zangoose? Bring me one and I shall bestow unto you my spirit tomb. I actually know where a Zangoose is. A spirit tomb would be awesome. I know, I know, they're not the greatest thing, greatest Pokemon, but spirit tomb I find to be actually really cool. So I'm gonna go uh find the Zangoose real quick. And in fact, I'm gonna go switch out. Monarch for uh, static just so we can guarantee a capture with like paralysis and all that. So I'll do that real quick. Alright, found the Zangoose there. It actually took a little bit. Yeah, switch. So it actually took a little bit to find this thing, but must have been like the 1% chance Pokemon in the area. So we're gonna switch out them two real quick just so we can get Spirit Tomb and. Ooh, we need to think of a good name for Spirit Tomb. Hmm. 108 Spirit, Spirit Tomb. Huh. I'm think I think I have an idea. Yes. We'll be sent to Isaiah. Alright, bye bye, Zangoose. Ah, uh, the old school trading. Boom, 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 boom. Sent over 108. <laughs> Alright, well that's actually not a bad name, I suppose. But we can always change it if we need to. Why, it's choice, young one. So let's take a look at 108. Uh, relax nature. Uh, uh. Level 27. 
S growth and everything. I think attack hypnosis dream eater ominous wind. That's actually a really good uh, growth right there. And honestly, the attack stat higher than I would expect for level 27. If we compared to like Sky, no, not, obviously not Sky, like Everest. Everest is level 33 with a boost to attack in an A plus, and it's 73. If we can get a, uh, it's 10 less. I mean, yeah, you don't have an, you don't have the health for it like uh, Everest, but all right. So I'm thinking we might use 108 there, and I think I actually do also have the uh, a good name for him. Unfortunately, if we want to rename him, we gotta go to the uh, the name raider, which is on uh, b -b -b what was the uh, the Era City. And that means I gotta surf all the way back over there, and then surf all the way back. And honestly, I really don't feel like it. So we'll keep it at 108 for now. And actually, I want to uh, trade off real quick. And I don't know who I'd uh, replace them with at the moment. Maybe a uh, Damascus, I suppose. But grass, grass is also ah oh, man. I don't, I don't know. I, you know what, you guys, let me know who uh, who we should uh, maybe box for a bit to have 108 join the team. I would say Titania, but I do like our psychic fairy, psychic fairy, dark ghost. I like that uh, little you know, contradiction going on. But, huh. Oh, and you know what? I wanted to switch you guys. Madagascar, come back up. And how close are you to evolving, actually? What's your, uh, oh. You know what? Let's do a couple battles real quick just to get you to evolve. Oh, it only took one battle, all right. And Madagascar is evolving. Bump a da bum. Madagascar has evolved into Empoleon. What wants to learn Aqua Jet? Aqua Jet. It's, it's basically water. Uh, yeah, we have Brine if we need for a stronger attack, but Water Quick Attack would also be pretty good. We also have Surf, so we don't really need Bubble Beam. So let's take a quick look at uh, Madagascar's new stats here. Eighty-three, seventy-five, seventy-eight, sixty. Not the greatest, but also I guess not the worst. So we have that. We can take this. And who do we want to give it to? Uh, everyone is basically. At full evolution besides Monarch and Everest so you know what let's uh, give you the experience share Wow I didn't need to buy those antidotes I'll be honest I totally thought we would uh, been poisoned a lot more during the bug gym but that's fine and you know what we can uh, switch you up to front why not I don't know what we're gonna find in a uh, the swamp. I suppose we're just gonna have to find out. Oh, before we do that, though, I do want to talk to you real quick to see if you had anything interesting. 
All right. Spirit Tomb is in the box for now, but I'll switch. I'll bring them out. They that one's just gonna require a little more grinding since they're well. Actually, they're a pretty good attacker, I suppose. I totally just missed what what was this place called? Telmerk. That was it. I wanted to say Shade Merk. Where is Shade Merk? Shade Merk, like Shade Merk Swamp. Is that from anything? As a ranger, I'm always prepared for the unexpected. On God. Pharaoh Seed. Well, this is not good. Ice Shard. Oh, well, at least you're not up. Oh, there we go. There was a gyro ball. What? Really? We missed? We kept missing. How? Fine. And then Arbok, switch Pokemon, yeah, Titania. Come on out, just psychic her. Well, our quick attack, our ice quick attack was just missing the whole. Nah. I suppose that's what happens when it's. Yeah, I. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know, uh. If we'll continue the episode right now, I know it's a bit shorter than normal, but I'm trying to keep these episodes more shortish now instead of like near the 45 minute mark because I tend to, you know, ramble on. But I think next episode will be a nice way to, you know, a nice start. We get out of the swamp, as it were. Unleash our inner Shrek. And there's probably more story stuff going on, so I guess a whole episode in the swamp would be pretty good. Uh, at least we can see what Pokemon are around, so let's see. Oh, well, if we ever wanted a Pharaoh Seed, and get a Pharaoh Thorn. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie. Shelmet, they evolve into the uh, Escavalier, right? That's actually one of my... Why are we running into so many good, like, bug Pokemon? Alright. I think I'll probably catch Shelmet here. And maybe catch a few more off screen for our normal comparison stuff. Alright, that's good. Come on, there we go. And can I just use the, uh, a great ball and you'll get me caught? Nice! Alright, so I gotta do a quick thing. I thought Shelmet had like a weird evolution thing, so I guess gotta double check on that. Alright, so, uh, I was mistaken there. Shelmet evolves into Excelgor, which is, like, the ninja one. And they, uh, do evolve at level 36 just normally. There's no trading needed for these, so that's always good. But, maybe there's a Carablast in here, so I can catch one of them for, uh... Wait, no. Yeah. Shelmet will evolve... Let me just double-check on that again. Alright, so yeah, it just does say uh, Shelmet evolves into Excelgor, and Carablas will evolve into uh, Escavalier. They're both actually really good Pokemon, so we'll give a nickname to you, and you shall be named... You know what? I have been uh, reminiscing about the old Samurai Warrior days, so you will be Fuma. Oh. After Kotaro Fuma... And all that, since you'll be a ninja. And the Carablast should be in here, so I'm going to see if I can catch a Carablast at the very least. I think that the uh, guide said that if you if you guys want any, the uh, Carablast and uh, Shelmets evolve at level 36 or 37. So that should be fine. Man, Carablast must be a rare find, huh? Uh, yeah, there's the Pharaoh Seed. Alright, well, I'll probably do some catching off screen then if I can't find it here, if it's a rare find. It does say that they should be in the grass in Telmerk Swamp. But yeah, next episode will be all about the swamp. And I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Go check out uh, Pokemon Gym Manager, which we're still in the middle of our second week in that. After utterly failing that first week, we had to do a redo. 
We beat Brock, and now we're in the middle of our second week where we have a lot of matches, I think, today. Uh, what else can I say about it real quick? We, uh, technically we're a psychic gym, but we're really a ghost gym because that's what we got for everything. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys want to go check out that, let me know. Or, you don't need to let me know. You can guys can just go watch it. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Uh, leave a like if you like, leave a dislike if you dislike, but tell me why, and I shall see you all later.